Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry with JR. We're from Bell Lost Souls, and we're here today with five nuggets of lore from Codex Orcs. So we all know that Codex Orcs has a bunch of new rules and new units in it. We've seen them. We love them. But yes. it also has a ton of updates to the lore. That's right, and today we're gonna to be covering five major changes to the orc lore affecting the entire 40k universe. So let's dive right in. Ooh. Lore nugget number one, Gaz is on a mission to unite all orcs under his banner. After realizing that the third war from Armageddon, while a fight suitable for any other orc, would not quite satisfy his need for a good crump, uh, he leaves, taking with him a council of weird boys. As they float away, the Imperials notice the absence of Gaz's ship, the Kilrecca, and send an Imperial flotilla after him to hunt him down. He is chased to a region space known as the Haunted Gulf. And there is the outgunned and outmatched orcs mount a last-ditch desperate charge on the Imperial fleet. The Council of Weird Boys begins speaking as one. They uh, speak with the voice of Gork and Mork, charging Gazkul to create a wah like no other. Before a ship is destroyed, the entire ship is teleported away in a green light as a, as a hole is ripped through normal space. Since then, Gaz has been spotted in numerous places throughout the Imperium, many times simultaneously. Lore nugget number two, Gork's Grin. The Orcs have their own name for the Cicatrix Maledictum. It is called Gork's Grin. As you might imagine, any good Orc knows that as soon as the, the warp opened up, they realized it was the gob of Gork opening up to swallow the galaxy. Orcs are diving into swirly things around the galaxy and being spat out into the best fights of their lives. In this way, navigating through the warp, the orcs are appearing in places where they are least expected to turn up and causing havoc to Imperium, Chaos, and Xenos alike. The Cicatrix Malediction may be credited to Chaos. Ask any real orc and he'll tell you the sign of Gork's Grin in the sky. Lore nugget number three, the legend of the Brain Boys. These are legends passed down from Runtherd to Runtherd about the mysterious creators of the orc race, a smaller, smarter species that created the orcs. These brain boys infused pure knowledge into the orcs DNA, equipping them to be survivalists and being able to repair all technology they find and come across. And this theory uh, seems to be confirmed by the Magus Biologus of the Imperium. Lore nugget number four, who's who among the orcs. Let's check in with some of the orc characters that we all know, love, and have been killed by. And we've already mentioned Gazel. He's still around floating through space, causing fights throughout the Imperium simultaneously. Uh, let's check in with Commander Zagstruck, leader of the Storm Boys. He has gathered a number of Storm Boys to him to create a Stormwa and has taken over an Imperial planet. A former Shrine World has been renamed Planet Zag, and they have carved Zag's face into a mountain. Snake Rod is still around. He actually stayed on Armageddon, and he's now the most feared orc on, in the sector. He's currently creeping around behind enemy lines on the thrice cursed battle world. Legendary freebooter Badruk has raided Necron and Chaos caches throughout the galaxy and has assembled his ship into a super weapon capable of destroying a hive city in a single volley. Mad Doc Grotznik is still around riding shotgun with gas. He is hanging out on the Kill Rekka, causing havoc and all kinds of weird pain to weird boys throughout the galaxy. Lore nugget number five, the Feral Orc Life Cycle. You may not know it, but feral orcs are a natural part of any orcish evolution. Orc tribes will scatter to the wildest stretches in the wilderness, where they will revert to savage tribes known as wild boys. These wild boys, with weapons that are primitive by any standard, spears, choppas, squigs, will raid and maraud across the wilderness, fighting with other orc tribes scattered throughout. As the orcs get stronger, they begin to grow larger and larger specimens of squigs, eventually able to raise and breed massive squigoths. Until eventually, some feral orc somewhere will get his hands on either a piece of advanced technology or discover some kind of explosive on his own. Delighted by the noise and destruction that they can cause with this kind of weapon, they will wreak havoc on the rest of the feral orc tribes on their world. As they mobilize for war and suffer more and more losses, they tend to gain more and more technology. They'll use this technology to build giant battle wagons reminiscent of their massive squig ox they would ride into battle. Eventually, these technologically advanced orcs mature into full, proper orcs ready for a scrap until one day their brood spawns a new brood of orcs who are driven to the distant reaches of space. And the cycle continues anew. Well, that was our five nuggets of lore we found in Codex Orcs. Hope you enjoyed it. 
I'm Adam Harry. I'm JR. We're from Bell Lost Souls. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.